Hi, this is Chong. This video is for healthcare simulationists who program scenario with Ledao's lip system. If you reckon your scenario is overwhelmed with event triggers and you need to streamline numerous states to ease the simulation controls, this video can be the solution. And this video is Response Rearrangement with Scenario Programming. This simulation arrangement provides opportunities to allow learners detect impending cardiac arrest and act to prevent it from occurring. With simulation background of deteriorating mental and respiratory status, endotracheal tube intubation is urgently needed. Yet patients' conditions and medications interactions are set to trigger further crisis. First stage reflects the parameters prior to intravenous succinylcholine. Due to underlying cause, that is tachypnea, labor breathing, desaturations, decreased mental status, ECG atopics with widened QRS. Stage 2 is activated upon intravenous succinylcholine injection. It begins with further widening QRS for 20 seconds. R on T atopic appears and rapidly triggers ventricular tachycardia with power. Stage 3. Stage 3, ventricular tachycardia with Declining blood pressure lasted for 20 seconds before replaced by ventricular fibrillations. Technically, these states can be programmed to be activated individually by simulator operator. Or, this manipulation can be arranged and triggered as if domino effect to improve simulation's execution. In this video, let's shift the response from R on T, VT, and VF into succinylcholine to form the cautious sequence in simulations activations. Transfer response between events. A suggestion is to reprogram this response within succinylcholine. Alternatively, instead of reprogram, let's cut and paste this response into succinylcholine. First, let's click the response of R on T and modify event advanced conditions. Next, change triggering events to event succinylcholine. These tags are the triggering event library. Open the narrow events and select event succinylcholine. Click OK to confirm. The triggering event has been changed. Do click OK to exit. Note the response top bar has been modified to succinylcholine. Let's repeat the process for the subsequent response. Click to open response for modifications. Repeat the process via edit advanced event. Change the trigger event to succinylcholine. Do set delay or additional triggering event to allow each response occur individually. Note the response R on T has moved to succinylcholine and triggering events of VT has changed successfully. Upon the completions of modification, click OK below to scenario main page for verification. Let's click the event list to check the result. Beware there may be a need to save the scenario and revisit this page for the result. Do remove the events with no response. Task 5 states scenario has streamlined into a 2 state scenario to ease simulation control. Save scenario prior to trial run. Scenario trial with virtual medicines. Program scenario trial focus on electronics interactions between LIPS instructor applications and program scenario. It is different from medicines operation trial run. Scenario executions begins with rapid deterrations of respiratory status signified needs of urgent ventilation interventions, while widening ECG suggests underlying electrolytes imbalance. succinylcholine. Injections and further ECG changes occur as succinylcholine. First respond roll in.
Second response appears has a brief R on T, which lead to VT with decline blood pressure and VF eventually. With this technique, the arrangement of scenario with multiple events can simplify simulation executions while maintain parameters' fidelity. Alright, that's all for this video. Wish that you find this concept helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.